People just go crazy for a lot of things. I was always kind of a person that would be, you know, I'll believe it when I see it. Do the ball for me after three. One, two, three. Fantastic. <laughs> William, this is absolutely amazing. Most people are interested. You know, a lot of people don't want to do it though. Our very, very sceptical friends at home that have seen the video on, on Facebook have turned around and said, hmm, I think you may have caught something there. You know, and very, I'm talking very sceptical, very critical. We're here to try and explain the so far unexplainable really, and that's, and that's our quest. To the believer, no proof is necessary. To the sceptic, no proof is possible. Hi, I'm Dan uh, from Sun and Goatside, one of the co-founders. Hi, I'm Lee, I'm also one of the co-founders of Sun and Goatside. In 2010, we decided to go on different investigations throughout the UK. Found them really interesting, but quite overcrowded. So we decided to start Southern Ghost Society. Um, it's a hobby that's grown out of control uh, in a very, very good way. Okay, K2. 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 Two lots of K2. Yeah, we use static cameras, like we are doing tonight. They're normal, like, normal security cameras with night vision. And we also got um, handheld night vision cameras and we like to carry around recording as we go. Um, but we've got K2s that um, pick up EMF, that posts the, uh, the ghost, the energy it gives off. Mm. So, um, and so we have a few other gathered like voice recorders as well. So. so this is really what we use as an investigation. So we've put these together over the space of five years. We've put these together like I say, if I'm being totally honest, no one knows what works and people will argue and they're very opinionated about what they think works. And we're one of the same, we don't know what works, so we buy everything. What focus is on actually, how do people perceive ghosts? So with that in mind, that's when we started building equipment and taking different approaches to, to rule out as many variables for these perceptions of ghosts that people were having. To try and come up with a formula which would in essence predict when one of these things are actually happening. I think the only way would be if you know, getting many, multiple people in a room and being able to predict it was going to happen, but at that point people know if you can predict it's going to happen, you must be faking it. Can you flash it again for me? Thank you. I think science, the technology route is definitely the way forward and I think this is the way um, sort of some go to society are going down that route. I, I, I don't think there will come a time when it can be categorically proven or disproven either. We believe in two different types of uh, spirit and manifestation. We believe in residual hauntings and intelligent hauntings. So residual is something that we feel that would happen whether you're there or not. Intelligent hauntings will respond back to us. So we will ask, is there somebody there? And then, and then so on. So yeah, we believe in that side of things. Okay, so we're calling out to the people here at Northwood House. We invite you now to step forward to us, to try and communicate, try and make yourself known. We're just here to try and talk to you, maybe to understand who you are, maybe why you're still here. Keep going. Try again. I'm sorry to keep doubting you, but we think we may have heard you back back to us. Try and copy me. Can you let me know which room you're in? Listen. One, two, three. Did you hear that? Sweet play. Yeah, take a look. 
Okay. Like it. Just see, but we've certainly caught what we think is an apparition. Uh, it's definitely moving. Certainly, down, a, certainly a light disturbance. Uh, yeah, certainly a light disturbance that uh, walks across from one corridor to the next. There you go. Is he? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. oh yes. my god. It is. I think from, from the society point of view, we're really torn. This is again a hobby, we're a non-profit society, so the people that are coming on are sharing our experiences and we want to remain like that. It's something that's becoming more popular. Um, because more and more people are curious about it. It's become a lot more acceptable. You know, it's not so much of a taboo subject as it was a few years ago. We'll keep trying, we'll keep going, uh, until we get that person, full body apparition, come up and shake your hand and say, this is what we're looking for, then we will be searching for that's it. The, that's the headless horseman or the... Uh... I think so. Who knows where in a hundred years time it might be the norm to speak to a spirit.